With this triad exercise, we are asked to solve the equation 0.25n plus 0.05 times n plus 5 equals 2.95. Uh, order can be you know changed a little bit just like with any other equation there are reasons for doing it in the order that that I'm going to do this problem in and the first step is to distribute the 5 one hundredths the 0 0.05 so we end up with 0 0.25 n plus distribute the 0 0.05 so 0 0.05 n plus 0 0.05 times 5 is 0 0.25 equals 2.95. Now, just like when we had fractions, we can work with the decimals the same as we would with fractions if we wanted to, or we could multiply by a value to get rid of the decimals. In this case, we're going to look at multiplying in order to get rid of the decimals. And how we do that is we look for, well, which term has the most decimals? Well, all of them in this case, the coefficients and the constants, have two decimals. And in order to get rid of that decimal, we want to move the decimal place two places to the right, so we would multiply by 100. That's because it has two zeros. When you multiply by 100, it moves the decimal place two places to the right. So we'll multiply both sides by 100. And when we distribute the 100, we end up with 25n plus 5n plus 25 equals 295. And again, we just take the decimal and we, and we move it two places to the right for each term uh, because we're multiplying it by 100. So now we'll combine like terms. And you could have combined like terms before. Uh, the order for that doesn't really matter. You could have done anything that's inside the parentheses that you could simplify, you could have done before. I just went ahead and multiplied by uh, 100 to get rid of the decimal before we simplify. So on the left-hand side, 25 plus 5 is 30n plus 25 equals 295. Subtract 25 from both sides, and we end up with 30n equals 270 because 295 minus 25 is 270 then divide both sides by 30 and we get a solution of n equals 9. Now to check our solution again we substitute into the original equation so we'll check 0 0.25 n and we solve for n equals 9 so 0 0.25 times 9 plus 0 0.05 times, again we solve for n equals 9, so 9 plus 5, and we want to know does that equal 2.95, 2 and 95 one hundredths. So 0 0.25 times 9, that's going to be 2.25, and then plus 0 0.05 times 9 plus 5 is 14. And again, we want to know, does this all equal 2.95? So 2.25 plus 0 0.7, because 5 times 14 is 70, so 0 0.05 times 14 is 0.7. And when we add it up, we do get 2.95 equals 2.95 and so our solution checks. The, the solution to 0.25n plus 0 0.05 times n plus 5 equals 2.95 is n equals 9.